Herman Cain introduced Donald Trump at a speech of his, and <laughs> he has a declaration for us that he'd like to share. Ah, uh, shuck it, ducky! Thank you very much. This sounds like a shucky ducky kind of crowd on a shucky ducky kind of day here to support an all oh, shucky ducky kind of candidate. Allow me to set the record straight. about one of the biggest lies out there about Donald Trump. And I hope the liberals and the liberal media is listening. Donald Trump is not a racist. grew up in Atlanta, Georgia. I know what a racist look like when I see one. And Donald Trump is not a racist. All right, so I need you guys to understand how that went down. He comes out there, he's like, oh, shucky ducky. Shucky ducky now. Shucky ducky. Everybody's like, what the fuck is that? I don't know what that means. I, I almost I almost looked it up in the middle of him saying, I'm like, what the, what does that mean? I don't know what that means. And then, so there was a little bit of editing there, but it, I only took out like a minute or two minutes of just him saying nothing really in the middle. And the first actual point that he makes, the first thing that he makes that he thinks is substantive, the first point is, Donald Trump is not a racist. I'm here to tell you, I know racist. He ain't a racist. Oh, that's so sad. So you know how that conversation went down behind the scenes. Donald Trump or his his uh, campaign, his staff reached out like, you know, oh, God, we're really, look at the new polls. We're struggling with minorities. Somebody get Herman Cain. Call up Herman Cain. Somebody get him. Reach out to him on Twitter or something. Do something. Bring him in. We need to let everybody know I'm not racist. How do we do that? Get Herman Cain to come in here and tell people I'm not racist. Herman, come on. Come do that. Come tell people I'm not racist. And, and then he just he goes right to it. He doesn't finesse it or anything. He's just like, Oh, shucky ducky now. Donald Trump is not a racist. He ain't a racist. Y'all got my check for me backstage? Or, or what's happening? Huh? Huh? Oh, these guys are so sad. As if anybody in the black community is going to be like, well, we'll put that to rest now. He's not a racist. Herman Cain said it. <laughs> Herman Cain has been disowned by the black community from the second he opened his mouth. I hate to tell you, but it's true. <laughs> these guys are unbelievable. Now, look, it, in all seriousness, y you saw during the Democratic debates that Hillary Clinton and Bernie Sanders were really hesitant to call Donald Trump a racist. And I think that's birthed out of people fearing like that term is overused, which it very well may be, or people fearing that if you slap that label on somebody, that you are immediately lumping them in with, for example, the KKK, or with, you know, Bull Connor and the most notorious racist of all time. Uh, but there are different grades and different levels and different shades of racist. You don't need to be an Alabama sheriff sicking the dogs on black kids in order to be a racist. You could just be an old bigot who casually believes, hey, I mean, look, are we better genetically, I inherently? I guess so. I don't I don't hate black people. I have black friends, but I mean, come on, keep it real. We're, we're we are just we got our shit together better. Am I right? Am I right? Am I right? So there are different varieties of it. And is Donald Trump one shade or another of a bigot? I think that's inarguable. In fact, I don't even know why the people who support him ardently don't just admit it. Like, just admit it. Just admit it. Because if you truly believe those positions, which I think they do, 
then why do you back away from it when pressed? Why don't you just say, yeah, I'm that, and I'll explain to you why I think that's the right thing to be. I'll explain to you why it makes sense to be a bigot, and then defend it. But no, they always get touched, ooh, I'm not that, even though I'm gonna say a million things that imply that I am that, but I'm not that, ooh, you can't catch me, you can't catch me. No, but see, we all see through you. When you, for example, when Donald Trump launched his campaign, what did he say? He said, oh, uh, the, the Mexicans, they're coming over here. Uh, they're criminals, they're rapists. I assume some are good people. Okay, no, see, you flipped it. That is a racist thing to say. That is a bigoted thing to say. If he said the opposite, I would honestly defend him. If he said, look, they're, they're mostly good people, but some are criminals and rapists, well, that's a different thing, and of course that's true. That's true of every different group, and you could even argue about the difference in statistics, okay? But when you flip it like that and say, I assume some are good people, implying the majority are a problem and are bad people or are criminals and rapists, well, no, then that is a bigoted thing to say. When you say, I'm going to ban all Muslims from entering the country, you don't think that's bigoted? Come on now. Now, that's not racist because Islam isn't a race, religion isn't a race, but it is bigoted, it is xenophobia. It is fear of the other. It is saying all Muslims should be lumped in with the worst elements. So, of course he is. He wants- he has floated the idea. He bragged about this thing in the past called Operation Wetback, where they rounded up people and shipped them out of the fucking country. He wants to round up over 10 million undocumented immigrants and ship them out of the country. That's fucking insane! Yes, that's a bigoted position! Of course that's a bigoted position! And is he, in his mind's eye, does he have, uh... People in, the people in the country who are German immigrants, when he pictures us rounding people up and shipping them out, knocking on their door in the middle of the night and dragging them out of their houses, is it Swedish immigrants that he's thinking of? No, come on now, you know they're all a certain skin tone, aren't they? Aren't they? So I don't know why you- I don't know why they try to hide it, just say it. If you believe it, just say it and then defend it. But no, I don't, no, we're not bigoted even though, yeah, most of these- Dark-skinned people are criminals and bad, and we should ban all Muslims, but I'm not bigoted. No, no, just say it. Come out and say it. Instead of having Herman Cain go out there and go, Shuck it ducking now, massa! You want me to do a jig for ya? I can do a jig for ya! Here's my jig! Here's my jig!